So we're going to build a drive wheel like this. So this is actually going to sit within the telescope and it's going to be driven by a motor up here and it's going to turn the telescope left and right by running against a, um, an interior set of teeth and the telescope body itself. And we've got to build this first because this is going to be fitted inside the main base of the telescope that we're about to build. So we're going to start by actually assembling the drive wheel for the azimuth control of the telescope. So this is the thing which is going to drive the telescope left and right when you're trying to find a target. So this is a 3D printed part. Um, it has a top marked with top and a bottom. You can see it's a little bit messier because that's where it's been sitting on the, the, the bed of the printer. And what we're going to do at this point is just attach a drive shaft to this because we need to be able to insert this into the next thing that we're going to produce. Um, now, the interesting thing on this is this, this drive wheel is driven by um, a worm drive. And you'll, you'll see that further on once we build a gearbox. But at this point, it's probably worth just paying attention. You'll have to buy a, a worm drive uh, gear wheel. This, has got, this is a 60 tooth gear wheel. And the critical thing at this point is the diameter of the hole, the hole in the middle. So this, this bore through the middle of the gear wheel. They typically come in five and six millimeter sizes. You can have either, doesn't matter. Um, there are suitable templates for 3D printing on either size. But uh, just pay attention to what size it is because you're then going to have to cut a piece of bar um, 110 millimeters long that's the same size because this drive wheel ultimately is going to sit on that that bar so it's got to be a, a proper fit if it's the slightly wrong size it's not going to go in at all or it's going to be loose it's going to it's going to slide around a bit so the first bit's very easy take the the drive wheel um, which is the the same size as the bar I've then used a file just to cut a flat edge on the, this bar, just so that it's got a better grip when it goes into the drive wheel. You can probably see here, the drive wheel has, um, it isn't a perfect circle in the center, there is a slight flat edge to it, and you're gonna cut the bar to match that. So once you've cut the bar, push that in and through. It can be a very tight fit, it's quite a snug fit, depending on how well you, you've cut this. Um, you may want to hammer that in if necessary. It needs to go right the way through to the base of the wheel. Um, it's okay if it comes through a couple of millimeters. That doesn't matter. There's plenty of space um, within the mechanism of the telescope, but don't go too far through on that. In theory, that's enough. That, that's enough to, to actually make the drive wheel work. Um, if you want a belt and braces solution, which I typically go for, um, you can also fit one of these little coupling collars if you can get hold of one of those. Again, same diameter as the shaft, and it slides over the top. Snug fit, there we go. And there are holes already in the 3D printed part that will accept screws just to, to push that firmly into place. So with that in place, um, that wheel is very well attached to the, the drive shaft. So, just completing the last screw going in there. That should hold that nice and tight. So that should be a really nicely coupled drive wheel sitting on that drive shaft. Um, there are two little, tiny little grub screws on the edge of the collar. You'll need to just tighten those up with a, a small Allen key. That just gives it a little bit better grip on the shaft itself. And that, that should be pretty bomb proof. That should work fairly well. So ultimately this drive wheel is going to sit on top of that. It's going to sit somewhere up here in the mechanism, but for the time being, we won't fit it. So that is your drive wheel.